Hiya, this is Megan Chapman, and this is the Tuesday Studio Video Visit. Thank you so much for joining me this week. Uh, you might be able to hear an echo, echo. Um, that's because I am back at my studio. You can see the paint wall behind me. Yep, you can see the dubious light quality. I mean, we have that at the other place as well, though, don't we? Um, I have been here since around 10.45 this morning. It is now, oh, my little fancy watch isn't telling me all of a sudden. I don't know, 6.27. Um, and I have been in here kind of working away, um, listening to some great music, and um, just sort of, God, I hate to hit, hear the word reset or say the word, I've, I've, this is a reset. But yeah, I'm kind of hitting a reset on the studio. Um, so you can see behind me, the old shelves, whoa, look how empty they are. I got my finished book works there, got some ancient work there that I'm either gonna paint over or do something else with. Um, the studio shelves have been organized. These paintings here with the black edges, those are gonna be the works that I show at the Inception exhibition. So I'm gonna pop them up here on my table and give them a nice fresh coat of black just to finish them off. Um, got some chairs hanging out there. Those aren't going to stay there for long. Just cleaning up, cleaning up, creating space. Um, you know, just reorganizing things. Uh, let's see. You can't really tell the difference. That computer's there because it doesn't work. That, that used to be my old palette before I started using this big old table. So those are probably maybe going away. Hopefully that can be fixed. Um, got some different kinds of things happening on the old mantle and let's see where else oh spin you around too fast we've got the brush station here we've got lots of brushes um oh let me let me show you this closet i'll tell you why this is all getting cleaned up i alluded to this got my art books on the top shelf we've got uh, mailing materials and various other things canvases and supplies watercolor paper two blank shelves. Then we've got some older paper works that are kind of wrapped in bubble. They're never going to be seen, um, so they're sort of protected, but they're also out of my way. I can't give them priority space. Um, and yeah, let's see. And then in the uh, old sink room, it's still pretty much a mess, but you know, washing some ancient brushes that really needed washing. Lucky I was able to save a lot of them. Still have just various pieces of inspiration, art. That was an old piece of art that I got. Some big pieces of mine that are just rolled up, um, papers, things like that. Um, you've never been back here, I don't think, or seen back here, but there's another little cupboard with a door that closes. I've got some canvases to paint on here. Um, I need to get them to replace the light, but that was all full and I couldn't use it. Now it's usable space. Everything's tidier than of course it's going to be when the studio's up and running and being um, used. But my goal is to start coming in and using it, but I'm not putting any pressure on myself. Uh, but another thing that's happening is that I believe I'm getting a studio mate. Yeah. So um, that is going to enable me, again, to keep my studio. And that's why I'm clearing all this space so that my studio mate can have some space, hence the shelves in, in, the, in the closet. Um, a really good friend of mine. And so I'm really excited about that because even though I don't think we'll be in the space really that much at the same time, I think just knowing that someone's in here working, creating, um, and maybe our paths will cross. Um, it's just going to be good fun. And it's just, it's a great opportunity for her. It's a great opportunity for me. Um, it makes everything much more affordable. Even if I was just to still use it mostly as storage space for just a wee while yet. So that's kind of the plan. You know how plans are. Sometimes they work out, sometimes they don't. Um, but we're both really excited about it, and of course we'll say more uh, soon. Um, she's not exactly a public painter, so I will let her uh, say what she wants to say or not say what she wants to say. But basically, 
Um, you know, hopefully sometime soon she'll come in and we'll probably rejig the studio again so that it works really well for both of us. But I'm really excited about it because it does make it much more affordable and also just adds a new fun energy. I'm sure there will be some challenges because, you know, sharing is a challenge. But I'm really looking forward to it. And it was really good to be back in here, thinking of a new purpose for this space, touching all my things, all my materials. Of course, I have loads of materials and I even have a lot of art. I could probably fill all of these gaps. I have a lot of art at the house and a lot of materials at the house. Um, I don't think I'm in a rush to bring all that back here right now, um, but basically just setting the scene for a change. And, um, and at least, at the very least, setting the scene so that uh, my pal can come in and use the space with ease. So that's what's happening in the Tuesday Studio video visit. Quick promotional reminder, um, this is the last week to see the Abstractionistas exhibition at Detour Espresso, that's 39 Argyle Place. That's the work of myself, Judith Shaler, and Susan Wilson. Um, that's in Marchmont, if I didn't say that already, uh, Ed Edinburgh. Um, the show is supposed to come down on Sunday, but there could be a chance that we might go by and uh, take it down either Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. So if you haven't been by and you're in that neighborhood, do pop by, I would say, sooner than later if you're interested in seeing those pieces in the flesh. And other than that, of course, the Abstractionistas are preparing for our Inception exhibition in May um, at the Dalkeith Palace. So that's what I've got for you right now. Um, it's been good. It feels good. It, it, yeah. So we'll just see what happens. You never really know, but that's kind of what the framework is. I even hung two big pieces out in the hall because um, when the pandemic hit, I took all my art away from the hall and it was really nice to kind of give the hall a bit of life as well because it was, it was looking pretty sad without any art. So I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're happy um, as you can be and as inspired as you can be. And if you're not, that's okay too. Tomorrow is another day. Uh, today was a good day for me and we'll just leave it at that. So thank you very much for all your support and your encouragement. Thank you for reading the Tuesday, uh, well, watching the Tuesday Studio video visit and reading the Friday Studio blog. Um, it really means a lot to me. So take good care and I'll see you again next week on the Tuesday Studio video visit on YouTube.